Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Dread. I'm here to bring you guys some nerd talk today. And um, I haven't really done a nerd talk video in a while, but for people who regularly watch my videos, be like, hey Dread, every time you open your mouth is nerd talk. And I have to agree with y'all on that. But anyway, uh, I want to talk about this new Spider-Man movie that's coming out in 2012. Now, when I first heard that the um, Spider-Man 4 project got scrapped and they're going to start new with this revamp series, I kind of had mixed feelings about it because, one, it's like, um, it's like, why would you revamp a series that's not even 10 years old yet? Because I believe the first one came out in spring of 2002. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But it's like, why would you revamp a series that's not even in its 10th year yet? And uh, the second one, I was worried if um, there, anybody from the original cast is going to come back. And apparently that's not the case. Everybody's gone now, especially Tobey Maguire. And um, they got this new guy to play Spider-Man. Um, I believe his name is Andrew Garfield. And um, it's, if you don't really know who Andrew Garfield is, just check out the movie Social Networking, you know, the Facebook movie. And here's what he's supposed to look like in the new Spider-Man costume. Now, for all the diehard Spider-Man fans who want a live-action adaptation of the movie, does he fit the bill of a Spider-Man type character, you know, a teenage kid, a nerdy teenage kid who got a uh, superpower from a spider bite? Y'all tell me. And the third one is, um, what storyline is it going to follow? I mean, because it wouldn't make sense for it to be just the same storyline, the same characters, the same plot, the same villains with just different characters. And, you know, that'd be boring to watch and pointless. And I'm just going to follow the, um, the ultimate Spider-Man storyline, you know, from the ultimate Marvel Universe. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of the same thing, but it's just ultimate just with a different storyline and who's gonna be the main villain in the movie and now for, for this one I heard it's gonna be Dr. Connors aka the Lizard Man but villains that I want to see in the series is um Mysterio, Carnage, Rhino and my favorite Spider-Man villain the Shocker they already they didn't do the Vulture yet but that's another one I'd like to see too anyway tell me what you guys think about this um, Spider-Man movie coming out in 2012 now I want to talk about the Batman movie next the third Batman movie it's gonna be called The Dark Knight Rises and people will be like, well, what's the point of making a third Batman movie when the second one did such a good job? Because Heath Ledger blew everybody out with his adaptation of the Joker. And I'm like, well, man, how are you going to top that? But um, I heard that this um, the new one is not even going to have the Riddler in it. Because everybody thought, oh, the Riddler's going to be the new villain in the new Batman movie. Uh-uh. Instead, they're going to pick a villain that not everybody's familiar with. I mean, diehard Batman fans are familiar with it, but commercial ones aren't. They're going to get the guy, Bane, you know... And Bane, he's kind of like um, a Hulk-like character. He's, you know, a regular guy, but he has genet he has genetically enhanced super strength and super speed from what I know. And this is supposed to be like a kind of more of a realistic version of the movie. I don't really see how that one's going to work, but they don't really have that many more villains to choose from because the Penguin's already been done. Dr. Freeze has already been done. He's unrealistic. Poison Ivy's already been done. And um, Two-Face, he's not really a super villain with any powers, but he was in the last one and, you know, he died in the last one. And, um, well, I don't really see what else they can really do with the movie, but besides just take, just pick up from where they left off because it wouldn't make sense for them to start over either. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of these new movies coming out in 2012, and I'll be doing a lot more superhero movie overviews and reviews, especially when the Captain America trailer comes out. Oh, yeah, one last thing before I sign out, guys. I'm going to be doing more videos like this. I'll still be doing it on this channel, but I'll also be doing it on my game channel and my, um, and this new collab channel I'm working with is going to be me and four of the guys. It's called Infamous299. I'll put the links to all my channels down there. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think about this edition of Nerd Talk and these movies coming out in 2012. All right, I'm out. Peace.